Hello, everyone. Hello. I am sorry I'm running a little late. Um, I am in my office. It's a mess back there. I have not been um, using my office very much because my husband has been using it as his office for work. And I've been trying to make sure that things were okay. So let me first start off by saying welcome to the show. I am Stephanie of YouTube Tips and More. And what this channel basically is, is that I try to help the beginner. The beginner or the more seasoned YouTuber. If you excuse me, I am trying to make sure everything is working properly. Okay, trying to make sure everything is working properly because I haven't done a live in my office in a while. <laughs> so I'm just trying to make sure everything is working okay. So if you can hear me clearly, let me know so I know that the sound is working correctly. But again, let me go ahead and get started. My internet seems to be dragging a bit today. Not sure why but it is what it is. Now, um, I am going to be kind of out of pocket here for a while. Um, not Well, I have been out of pocket for the past, what, month, almost two months now, because my husband was in the hospital and I was up there with him every day while he was in the hospital. So much went wrong while he was in there. It caused him to be in there longer than anticipated. But he is home now, and now it is time for uh, therapy and doctor's offices and all that good stuff that I'll be running back and forth doing. In the middle of all of that, I am trying to pack up this house because we did pick out a home. I'm not going to share with you just yet which one we picked. Um, if everything goes well, if you can hear me, let me know you can hear me. Uh, if everything goes well, uh, we shall be closing on the 26th of August. So I have to pack up this house. I'm going to start with, of course, all my dishes and candle holders and all that good stuff, wine glasses, all that is going to be packed up first. I'm trying to pack up the hardest thing first and then work my way back to the easier things. Uh, my office will be probably like the third room that I pack up because I'm going to pack up all my dishes and vases and then I'm going to the kitchen and I'm going to pack up the um, the stuff in the kitchen, uh, the stuff that we're not using, whether I'm going to pack that up first and then I'll go, you know, room to room till I get the rest of the house. Hi, Stacy. Good, good. I am glad to be here. As I was saying, I'm going to be out of pocket. I've already been out of pocket, but uh, I will be packing up the house. And as soon as I finish packing up the house, then I will uh, show you what house we picked when we move in and take you along with me on moving day as we get all our junk from this place to the new home. And as I start to get the home together, I will take you along with me as we paint and replace things. And I set the house up to make it a home for us. I'm really excited. i really excited that uh, everything should go well. We will be signing on August 26th, uh, two days before my birthday. So I'm really excited about that. Really excited. Now, I don't have that many challenges listed. I I apologize. Yeah, something's going on with the internet. For real, for real. Uh, let me look and make sure it's hooked up. It says we're connected. I've never used the office before. So is it still live? 
And I have this camera that I'm trying out too. So the camera may have a lot to do with it. I haven't used this camera in here before. So it will be a little, ugh. I'm trying out this camera. Until I get it situated, I probably end up going to get the other one. But until I figure this camera out, I'm sorry that it's fragmented, but it's going to be this. I'm going in and out. Oh, man. Okay, give me a minute. I'm going to go and get uh, my stand, and I'll be right back. I think I'm going to change this over from that to there. Hello, ladies. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to change over because it is a little wacky. So give me a second to change this thing over. I hope your weekend has been going fine. Mine was a kind of relaxed day today. Didn't do a whole lot. I'm also going to try out a new toy. Hope you can hear me fine. Okay. I think it is the internet is crappy because even with this one, it's crappy. Let me get this situated. Yeah, my internet is fuzzy. Is that better? Okay. Now, is that better? Okay. Now, I'm going to be a little short with you because I don't have that many packages uh, up, but I do have a few. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the ones that I do have, and uh, we're going to talk about, I want to talk about two topics today. Now, in today's topic, I want to talk about um, groups, and I want to talk about, um, what was the other topic I want to talk about? I know I want to talk about group, because um, it's fun to be in a group when you have everybody who wants to work. When you don't have people that want to work, 
it makes a group difficult. So that's one of the things we're going to talk about today. I'm trying to do something different, so please bear with me. Let me cancel that. I'm so sorry, things were just the other, some for some reason, the computer is, it's just this new camera. I have to get used to this new camera. That's the whole thing. Your girl is trying so many different things that I'm trying to make everything work right. And I'm gonna show you something that I set up I hope it comes on. I'm going to share the screen. Let's see if this works. Okay. to work but that is my new that is my new intro screen that I'm going to be playing when I do my show so when the show comes up then bam my new intro so can you hear me is it still blurry let me know can you hear me Great, great. I want to make sure. Uh, so the things I'm going to show you today, I have a few, uh, a few listed for August and a few listed for September, but I do mainly have more, and I have more waiting to. Uh, I have one that was emailed today. I like the intro. Oh, great! Thank you. I was working on it. I was hoping it came out better. I was a little nervous about that, but I'm glad y'all were able to hear it. Um, so I'm gonna show you the ones I have available now. Where is it? Here it is. Okay. 
Now, the only challenges that I have available, come on screen, are the one for, I have one here on my screen for August, and it's the fall kitchen vignette, which is due on August 21st, 22, at 10 a.m. And it's hosted by Leona at Ebony, Ivory, and Time with Leona Dooley. Now, that's the only one I have here on the YouTube listed. Now, I do have four on the calendar, which I will read in a few minutes. And then for September, the ones I have listed on my community channel, community tab, is uh, for September 10th at uh, September 10th, 22nd at 10 a.m. I have the fall one to one pot meal collaboration and it is hosted by Ebony Le Leona at Ebony Ivory and Time with Leona Dooley. She wants you to get your slow cooker, your instant pot Dutch oven or whatever pot you choose to prepare a delicious recipe for all to enjoy. We are also looking for the meals to be easy to prepare and define as time savers. I want you to share the recipe down in the bottom. Now on the 22nd of September at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time is the Fall Fireplace Decor Challenge 22 that is hosted by myself, Stephanie at Creative with Me, Miss Me, and my co-host was going to be V at V's Interior Designs, but she will not be able to host this with me. Uh, I'm not sure, but I will check with her. I, I don't think she will. But the, I will be looking for someone else to co-host. The hashtag is hashtag Fall Fireplace Decor 22. All I ask you to do is to decorate your fireplace mantle, the apron, a tabletop, a bookshelf, a cabinet top, a kitchen bar, bar whichever is easy for you to do to decorate for this collaboration. And on the 23rd of September at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have the Fall Coffee Beverage Bar Collab Twitter, Twitter, Tongue Tie 2022, and it is hosted by Kimberly at A Blessed Home with Kimberly Davis. Now, those are the ones that I have this far on for the um, on my chat on the community tab. Now, as far as the calendar is concerned, if you have uh, started receiving the calendar alerts from me. Thank you. Uh, I'm trying to get it back together, guys. Give me a chance. I've, you know, I've been out of pocket since my husband was in the hospital. A lot of things um, changed, but I am trying to get everything back on cue. Please be patient. Now I'm pulling up the calendar. Boom, boom. Okay, here's the calendar. Now for July, the rest that we're in August now, Stephanie. For August, the ones I have, I have the the Tablescape Tuesdays. And this is hosted by the Grace Life DIY Home Decor and Amethyst Advent Adventures. Now they have it every Tuesday and it's for all my times on the calendar are Central Standard Time. So they have it for I have it for five o'clock Central Standard Time on Tuesdays, the whole month of Tuesdays. All right, and then on the seventh, those are the YouTube tip shows. We'll go over here to the thirteenth. We have the Green Tablescape Monthly Color Series, which is hosted by Marilyn at Marilyn's Cozy Lifestyle, and her co-host would be Vanessa at Vanessa J and myself. Stephanie at Creatively Miss Me. And all we ask you to do is to use green in your color series for the month of August. You can add any additional cover color that you choose, but your main color must be green in your in your uh, tablescape. And the hashtag is hashtag green2022. And the title will be the Green Tablescape Monthly Color Series. Now it is to upload on the 13th of August at 10 a.m. Uh, I have, as again, my times on the calendar are Central Standard Time. So I have nine o'clock Central Standard Time. And her time is 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time is when it is due. And the playlist will be available on Maryland's community tab on August the 12th. She asked that there be no, no early pop-ups. 
Okay, and also on the 13th, we have the Ladies of Elegance present, present the Sophisticated Saturdays. I don't know why my tongue is so tired today. Now, this is a month, a series of, they have a series every second Saturday of the month. Now, for this month, they have the host is Amphis Adventures and a Grace Life DIY decor. And the video title will be, I may have the wrong names up there for the host. I think I really do. Uh, the video title is, you can use any title you want, but please include the sophisticated Saturday somewhere in your title. Now, the hashtag is sophisticated ladies, who sophisticated Saturdays, and then also hashtag ladies of elegance. I'm going to have to go back and look at my notes. I think I put the wrong people as the host. Uh, the collaborations. Now, they have all the information in it, so it's all on the calendar. If you have not joined in on the calendar, please email me, and I will put your email address. Um, I will give you all the other information for the challenges will pop up on your calendar in your phone. Now, also, we have on the... We've talked about the kitchen, the fall kitchen vignette. And the Tablescape Tuesdays for August. Oh, and I want to let you know on the 14th of August. On the 14th of August, my host will be. I'm really excited about this host that's coming on on the 14th. My host will be Kimberly Davis at a blessed home. She will be my guest on August the 14th. And also, August is her birthday month as well as mine. But she will be my guest for the 14th. And then on, let me close some of the stuff I have open. And then my next guest will be for the date of the 21st. My guest will be Penny at Penny's Lifestyle Living. Now, Penny will be my guest on the 21st. So I'm really looking forward to uh, both of these ladies being on my show for the month of August. I'm really excited about it. I've really been enjoying interviewing people for uh, the show and it's really been fun to me because I've been learning a lot about the ladies that I look up to and the ladies that I follow on a constant journey here on YouTube. Now, uh, for the month of September, uh, my, uh, my window, September. For the month of September, we still have the Tuesday tablescapes and the only other challenges I have listed, I have the fall fireplace and the fall coffee bar and the ladies of elegance. But I do have another challenge that was emailed to me last night, and it will be put into the calendar today. I just haven't had time to do it today, but it will be added to the calendar after I get off live. But I'm trying to keep the calendar up as best as I can. I know I haven't put it on the community tab like I have been doing because so much was going on. You know, life happens and um, things change. All right. Now, let's talk about groups. Now, a lot of people have, there are, are a lot of groups. It's not as many as it used to be, but we still have a lot of groups that are on YouTube. Now, my thing about groups is I enjoy watching them come up with their challenges and whatever they're going to do. I love watching the groups and sometimes participating in their content. But when you're in a group, you need to make sure you're in a group that's willing to participate. Um, I was in a group for a minute. Yeah, I was in one group. It ended at the end of the year. And the other group I was in, um, that's where this channel came from because of one of the groups I was in. And the other group I was in, uh, all the people didn't want to participate like they should have. Uh, they would only participate when they hosted, but they didn't participate when others hosted. And that may bothered me a bit, 
uh, and I stepped away from the group. So if you're in a group, it's good to be in a group because you make new friends on YouTube because YouTube has a lot of wonderful people on YouTube. I've met a wonderful, I've met a plethora, as my grandbaby said yesterday, a plethora of people on YouTube that are wonderful. I have a lot of wonderful YouTube sisters. And I enjoy working with them. I enjoy seeing their content. I enjoy watching their channels grow. I love it because I love to see everybody grow because YouTube is so huge that there's room for everybody to get that big number that everybody dreams of. So when you're in a group, just basically make sure that everybody actually wants to participate because it can be a Debbie Downer if you're the only one participating in every challenge. Now, the group I was in, Every challenge, I participated in every challenge, but everybody else didn't. And that made me not want to be in any more groups. But I know there are some good ones out there. And maybe if the right one comes my way, I may participate in it. It just depends on the people that are in the group, if they're willing to work with the group and let it flourish. Because I love seeing all the different content that comes up. Because there are, there are so many different ways to decorate a blue table. Everybody has their own ideas. You know, I've seen a challenge where they did blue and white. And it was amazed me at how many different ways and different settings and different ideas everyone comes up with with the blue table setting. Hey, Lada. I just, I really like seeing that. I like seeing it when everybody participates. Because it makes the group get more followers. And it also pulls in more viewers to your channel. And I, I like the groups. I do. I, I enjoy watching everybody come up with their own ideas and everything for all the different challenges. I enjoy watching them. I get it. Well, you know, my favorite color is turquoise. And I haven't seen anybody do anything with turquoise. So that's a hint out there for some of your groups. Hi, Petal. How you doing, honey? But I do enjoy the groups. I really do. And the other thing I want to talk with again is when you are filming, and if you're using a camera or your phone, like now I'm on my phone, and my camera is here, okay? So if I look at the camera, the circle on my phone where the camera is, if you look at your camera, it makes it appear that you're looking at your audience. Okay, so if I'm looking at the TV, uh, she says, I enjoy watching group clubs too. Some of the creators do such a beautiful job. I'm hoping to start a group, but some creators are reluctant to work with new small. You're right. A lot of people are reluctant to work with small channels. And because I think, let me put it this way. Some of the people in the group I was in before, they wanted other people because they wanted to basically get viewers. And that was their goal. But I don't think it should make a difference if you are a small YouTuber or a large YouTuber. If it's something you enjoy doing and you want to help somebody else grow, you want to support your other sisters, your other YouTube sisters, brothers and sisters, then it shouldn't matter how many channels they have, how many views they have. It should just be something that you want to do that you enjoy doing. Like me, I enjoy doing tablescapes. I enjoy organizing. That's things that I like to do, you know, and with me moving, me packing, so a lot of things are going to be limited because I'm going to have to shut down on doing a lot of things because I'll be packing up the house to move it to the new location. But you're right. Cause when I did ask someone who has a big channel to do a collab with me, they uh, said I didn't have enough followers and I was okay with that because like Wani told me when I first started it, that don't worry about that because you know, one day it's going to turn around. And you might be the one that's larger than them, and they're going to come to you then and ask you to do something with them. And you just have to remember, do you do tip for tat? Do you tell them, no, you don't have enough subscribers? Or do you just, you know, however you deal, deal with it, do you go ahead and still participate and do the challenge with them? It's up to you. But, every, but I have been told some negative comments. 
I have. And it was a little hurting when I was told that, but you know, to each his own. But in the, let's get back to the camera. I'm still seeing people not look at your camera. Now, if you have the camera that has the flip screen on the side, don't look at yourself in the screen. Because when you look at yourself in the screen, you're not looking at the people. You're looking at you. You must look at your camera. Now, my camera is here. I look at my camera. That way, when you look at your camera and you're talking, it appears to the audience that you're talking directly at them, that you're not overlooking them or just talking to be talking. You, If you look like this now, I'm looking at the screen, looking at me. Now, it looks like I'm looking somewhere else. I'm not paying attention to you. Hi, Catherine. I, I'm not discouraged. I keep going. I stay, I'm keeping going. I'm trying to keep everything hidden away. Hi, Anna. I didn't see you come in. I can see you. Now, again, when you're filming, if you look at your camera lens, it appears to the people when you're filming that you're looking directly at them. And it makes a lot of people feel that this is a one-on-one -on -one conversation. But if you have the camera that has a screen on the side and you're looking at your screen, like now I'm looking at my screen, it doesn't appear that I'm looking at you. I'm looking at someone else. I'm looking away. But if you look at your camera lens, you're looking at the person and it feels like a one-on-one -on -one conversation. And I'm still seeing people, I've even seen a larger YouTuber that she looks at her lens on the side and she's not realizing that you're not looking at the people. You're looking at yourself. You have to focus on where your camera is. Even if you have to get, I don't have a thing up here. I have a, a round light that you can clip on your phone. And even if you have to put that on your phone to make you concentrate or look at your lens or put something on around your lens, so you will make sure that you're looking at your lens, so you're looking at the people, then you might have to do that. But you need to look at your lens on your camera. And if you're using your phone, find out where your camera is and look at your camera. Because too many people are looking at the screen and you're not talking to me, you're talking to yourself. So keep that in mind. If you want your conversation to be like one-on-one, -on -one, make them feel like you're talking just to them, then you need to look at your lens. Look at your camera lens on your phone. You know your phone has that little spot. And if you're using the back of the phone, you know it has maybe two or three cameras. But if you're facing you, then you'll see the lens. And you need to look in that. You need to look in that circle. Look in that circle. And if you look in that circle, then when you're talking, the people see that you're talking to them. Hi. Hi, I'm Stephanie of Creating It's Me. Now, if I'm doing it over here, then I'm not talking to you. I'm looking away. And a lot of times that disturbs me when you look at someone's video and they're looking away. They're not talking to you. They're like they're talking at you. And you want the people to feel more comfortable and like you're bringing them into your home. So always remember to look at your lens or look at your camera on your phone. Find out where your camera is and face that. So you make sure that you're doing a one-on-one -on -one conversation with your viewer. I think it's more personable when you're looking at them instead of looking away. It's a difference in them looking at your audience and talking to them and wishing everyone well than looking this way and say, I wish you well. Well, who are you looking at? You're looking at yourself in the camera. You need to look at the lens. I'm still seeing that. And also, I've been trying out different microphones. So I found one that was the one I'm testing now. I'm pretty much liking this one because it gives a, a crisp, clear sound. And I have on my desk as well, I have the, um, what's this thing called? The ball, the snowball. I have this one that I keep on my desk when I'm doing voiceovers or sometime recording here in the room when I'm using the big computer.
And if I'm using, I also have one that I can hook to my phone that has a cord to it that I can put on me if I want to use that one. But I'm trying out this new one that's very small. So I'm going to take it off and show you how it looks. Here's the noise. Here it is right here. I'm trying out this one. And it was reasonably priced on Amazon. So once I will put the information uh, down below about this microphone, now it has a little piece that you stick in the end of your phone where you put your uh, charger at. And you put the little piece in there and you can talk on there and it's crisp and clear. It also has one that you can put in like on a, a different type of phone or a light and it will make your light come on, on your phone and make your videos bright. Er. <laughs> so I'm really liking this piece. I've been trying it out now. Um, this is the first time I've worn it live, but I've been playing with it around the house to see how it catches sound and how it works. But I also do want to remind you that my guest again for August the 14th will be Kimberly Davis at A Blessed Home with Kimberly Davis and Penny at Penny's Lifestyle. I will have her own on the 21st of this month. So I'm trying to have two guests a month. So I will be on here on the 17th, I mean, excuse me, on the 14th and the 21st for my two guests. Um, after then, I will have to get with you to let you know because, again, excuse me, I'm moving. And I know things will not be set up as quick to do a lot of things. Um, and in December and September, on the 11th and the 18th, I have two guests in September. And yes, it's compatible with all phones. It has one, uh, it has two little adjustment things inside. And it has two of these, one for the phone I have. And then I think this one is like for a Mac or something. But it is adjustable to other phones. And you keep it in this cute little case so you don't lose it. And it has a charge cord. It charges up a uh, USB charger. And it's a little cord. Here's a little cord that you use to do it. I like this mic because I can be doing a tablescape or decorating somewhere in the house. And I want to talk while I'm doing it. And I don't want to have that hollow sound like I'm in the wall. I want to have a clear sound when I'm doing it. What did she say? Uh, I think she like that mic. The mic I have is not good when my voiceovers sound muffled. That's what I don't want to have. I don't want to have the muffled sound. And this one is great. Thank you, Catherine. I'm so excited. Uh, we are closing on August 26th, two days before my birthday. I'm not going to share with you which home we picked. We looked at four homes and uh, we because every time we got to look for a home and we were going to go look at it, it got snapped up. It got snapped up. We had 10 homes on our list that we wanted to look at, y'all. 10. And when we got ready to go and look, when my husband was able to get out the hospital to go so we could look at these homes, six of them were already gone. They went that quick. They already had contracts on them. So we looked at four homes. One of them Okay, guys, one of them, the smell in that house was so bad. It was so horrible. It smelled like cats and dogs and feces and all kind of stuff. Oh, the house, we opened the door, the smell knocked you out. So, of course, I did not show you anything about that house. But the other three I did show you, and we picked one of those three, and I am so excited. I am so excited. Y'all just don't know. I've been looking at light fixtures. Can you place a link? In? Yes, I will place the link in the box for this mic. So if you're interested in this mic, I've been trying to find me a good wireless one, and this is it. The other one I bought that was wireless, it sucked. It it sounded muffled, and I don't care what I did, it did not sound good. But this one here works good with my phone. It also says it can work with cameras, I believe it says. You can use an adapter on the end. This one I like. So I will put this one down in the box um, to tell you what the camera from off of Amazon. It's not expensive. 
Because my pocket don't say expensive. <laughs> my pocket say be as budget friendly as I can. Because I have goals to accomplish. Let's see. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad. Thank you. Thank you. I can't wait to decorate either because in the house they um they're like they're like fixtures. I I can't hang. Okay, so I will be taking them down, and I have already picked out the light fixtures that I want to use. I picked out my paint color. You know, your girl been seeing it in her mind how I want this house to look as far as paint and light fixtures go. Now, you know, everybody pocket can't go out and buy all those life fixtures at one time. So I will be doing it room by room as I set them up, getting things ready. Hi, Deborah. I will be taking you room by room, you know, the entryway, the formal dining, the um, family room, the kitchen, the breakfast area, the laundry room, the master bedroom, uh, the man cave area. Uh, my office, his office, the guest bedrooms, the bathrooms, all of that, and where I store my stuff now. That's going to be a challenge of fixing up my stuff to store it in the garage somewhere, the plates or whatever. I have to find the area to, to um, store my things. And that's what I'm most excited about, uh, just having a new, oh, I won't forget the habitat stores. Trust me, because I need to get, I want, actually want to get some cabinets put out in the garage to put my plates and stuff in and have it colorized. That way, it's just not everywhere. That's what I really want. So that's what I'm working on. But I'm so excited. And the backyard is so lovely. And I can't wait to do the backyard to set that up. It, I'm just so excited. Y'all just don't know. We were supposed to do look for a home last year. And things didn't work out. And then we had planned to do it in May of this year. And my husband got sick. Well, he didn't get, well, he went in for a knee replacement, April 26th. And came home and his body, well, the first thing was the anesthesia and the medication they gave him at the hospital shut his kidneys down. So here we were at the hospital for a knee replacement surgery and you shut down his kidney. Yeah. They called me back up there and we were trying to get his kidneys functioning and it was just a hot mess. They started working, so they let him come home and then we ended up going back because his body did not like the metal from the knee replacement and his legs swelled up and was badly getting infected. So we had to go back so they could deal with the infection and he had to be put on dialysis. I mean, it was just so much going on and he, he was in the hospital for almost two months trying to get everything situated and get him home while he's home. And now we have another issue that we're going to see a doctor for on Monday. So all this is behind a knee replacement surgery and they were using too strong of a pain med while he was under on anesthesia. The anesthesia and the pain medicine didn't like each other. So be very careful when you go in surgery. Make sure that your doctor knows what you're allergic to and find out what uh, anesthesia and pain medicine they're going to give you because the ones they gave him did not mix with his system. Now, with other people, it may mix, but with his system, it did not. And we're dealing with issues behind that now. The, hosp the hospice donation center store. I'm trying, honey. That's the same thing that happened to my daughter four years ago. And now she's on. Yeah, my husband's on dialysis. We're going to be putting him on the kidney donor list so he can get a kidney so he can get off of dialysis. So that is our next step that we're going to be doing to try to get him a kidney. Um, one of his siblings that one of his step-siblings, whether I don't know if they're going to be able to do it. They have the same dad, so they may be able to. So his sister wants to donate him a kidney, but
but we'll see how that goes because we just found out that she's been having issues with her kidneys. So I don't think that's going to happen. So are we going to have to put him on the list, the donor list, and try to get him a kidney? So please keep us in your prayers because we need all the extra prayer we can get here. But anyway, if you are not receiving the um, collabs and challenges on your phone, on your calendar, email me. I'm going to put my email. Where is the button at? You know how you forget to do things. At least me. If you want to be added to the email or I mean the calendar events where all the challenges and collaborations come to your calendar on your phone, email me here at creativelymissedme at gmail.com. And then I will add you to the calendar list. And what it will do, it will send you an email and it will ask you if you want to be added to this um, calendar. And all you do is click yes. And when you do that, all the collaborations and challenges will come to your calendar. And it'll also uh, give you an alert when it is due. And then you'll see when they pop up on your calendar, you'll see the new ones come up for each month. When I get them in, I automatically go in and put them on the calendar. So you'll be able to keep up with them on your phone when it's time for uh, a new challenge to come up. Um, I like that way. It's easier for me to be able to put them on the calendar and send them right directly out to you guys and you get the challenges and you get all the announcements of anything coming up. Uh, I really enjoy doing that way. Uh, also, my main channel, as you know, my main channel is Creatively Miss Me with Stephanie, decorated on a budget. That is my main channel. And I also have a website, creativelymissedme.com. And on the website, I have a form that helps you with uh, making videos. When you need all your information, you know, when you do your research before. It is very important when you give it to do a video that you have all your information together. Who's hosting, co-host, if they have any demands that they want to put in it. Um, this form that I have is a free form. If you go to my website, it's a link. It'll be a link down below where you click on it and it'll go to the landing page where you can download that form if you like. The form is free, totally free, if you want to do use the form. Okay. Now, what did I do with the other one? Okay. That's all of them. Again, here is my email address. If you want to become part of the mailing list, uh, is creatively miss me at gmail.com, and that will add you to the list so you can be getting all the collaborations and challenges come to your calendar on your phone. Now, when they come on your phone, they will be in this peach color that you see in this border down below where my name is. That's how they will come up on your calendar. So they'll be different from any other events that you have on your calendar. It'll have a, a little ball that'll be that color peach. And when you click on it, it'll show you the information like I was just showing a few minutes ago. Let me share that with you again so you can see how it does look. I like using that because to me, it's, it's so much easier to me. Like here is the calendar, okay? And all I do is click on the date. And that little card will come up and it'll tell you all the information about the challenge, all the information that I've been given. Now, I do advise that you go to each person's channel still, look at the community tab or they or if they've done a video to announce the challenge. You still need to go there to look for the information. But here it shows you there's Tablescape Tuesday. All the times on my calendar is Central Standard Time. Be aware of that. Uh, and then it'll tell you who's hosting it. And if they have any information, it'll be in the box. Like, let me see here. Like this one right here. It has all the information that she wants you to know down here in the box. It makes it so much easier. You can have it where you can put it up on your phone or your computer, wherever your calendars are. So again, if you want to be added to the calendar, 
please send me an email and just say that you want to be added to the calendar and I will add you on. It makes it so much easier. So I hope the information that I gave you tonight about looking into your camera and also about groups uh, is informative to you. If there's anything that you want to know about um, a program or editing or anything you need to know about YouTube that you have a question about, I will answer them to the best of my ability. I'm not a professional, but I do help when I can. So if there's anything, nothing else, I'm going to let you go for the evening and I appreciate everyone coming. So please remember to give me a thumbs up before you leave. That's very helpful to my channel. I'm going to leave now because I want to go and see Penny at Penny's place. Hers comes on and uh, thank you, Petal. Hers comes on in about, I think, 10 minutes or so, Penny showed us, and I want to hear what she has to say tonight. So I appreciate everybody coming. I hope the tip about the camera is so helpful because I just want to help as much as I can. So if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below, and I will do my best to answer them at the best of my ability. Uh, hopefully, when you see me next time, I'll probably still be here in this house. I'll be on my phone again because everything is going to be packed up by then. But I will see you guys next week. Love you so much. You just don't know how much I appreciate each and every one of you. And for those of you watching the replay, I want to thank you for coming and enjoying the show as well. Love you guys. And I will see you all next week.